everybody. My name is Margarita Sandino. I'm the Director of Education here at the Dixon Gallery of Gardens. And today I'm standing in the Liz and Tommy Farnsworth Education Building Interactive Gallery. I am here to give you a very short tour uh, and tell you a little bit more about a wonderful exhibition called Made in Dixon, Edge of Dixon. Join me. Okay, so we're going to start here with our children and family programs. We have so many children and family programs here at the Dixon uh, that we thought we would gather some of the wonderful artwork there's, that some of our families and kids make and put them on the wall so you guys get a chance to see them. So when you come to Made in Dixon, you're going to see works from our littlest uh, kids, they're 12 months old, uh, all the way to our teens. Uh, we have programs, we have camps, we have uh, ongoing weekly classes, uh, and horticulture, art, all kinds of things together. So I hope you get a little view of some of the wonderful artwork that you'll see here. So uh, last year, we had a really great group of little sprouts coming to the Dixon to create art with us. And here we have a sample of one of their projects. This was a collaborative piece that they did on watercolor. Uh, and you can see a little bit of their handiwork, um, beautiful colors. And that's something that we encourage to in Sprouts program for 12 months to 24 months old is collaboration. Uh, if we keep going a little bit further, I want to show you this wonderful um, kind of compiled work uh, that kind of relates to our family day. The Dixon provides four family days, community days a year. And this, there are some samples of the artwork that you will be able to create at a family day. Like you can see, uh, there's art, there's music uh, kind of uh, represented, and of course, horticulture as well. Here, if we come down here, I want to show you this very special display of some of the zines that were created at Kaleidoscope Club. So Kaleidoscope Club is our after-school art club that meets every week. Uh, and in this particular case, they were uh, trying to create their own zines, understanding the concept of you know, the written word and the illustration put together in a publication. So these are beautiful little pieces that they created. We have them here on display for you to peruse. Okay, so now we are in this amazing area of student and teacher programs, artwork pieces. Um, we do have a lot of programs for students on site and, and also in the community. Here you will see some uh, artwork that comes from our Dixon Discoveries programs for students uh, from pre-K through eighth grade here at the Dixon. At the same time, there's some artwork from our amazing Dixon Art Camp, which is an art camp that we have uh, for free for um, kids in the neighborhood. Uh, so come see some of this artwork um, and you'll, you'll understand a little bit more about the projects and what we are teaching uh, through art and horticulture. Uh, another really great um, spot here on the student teacher programs area is the work that we do professional with professional development for teachers so a lot of the pieces that they make are also also here so i invite you to come and see them so now we're in the adult programs area uh, adult programs encompass a lot of different things uh, in this exhibition you will see some samples of some of the workshops that we had uh, in the past year uh, some of the incredible work that some of our partners have made with us and especially some beautiful work from our seniors and our seniors program. So uh, something really interesting uh, is also we have some written word uh, here uh, and you can also come and read the beautiful stories. We are in the community area of the Maiden Dixon exhibition and here I have to tell you we have so much talent in Memphis. Here you will see a sample, a tiny little window of all the talented work that our kids in this community do. Um, there's programs that we provide in the schools and also with other partners. Uh, we see about 20,000 kids uh, every year. And here are some samples of the wonderful artwork that they make. Um, right here I have uh, an untitled. 2019 by Braden Sanchez Ramos. This is a piece uh, that was made in our um, Art to Grow program at Willow Oaks Elementary, one of our partner schools. Uh, what's really interesting about this piece is the variety of materials. And that's this is something we have, we tried to do with our programs uh, with Art to Grow is introduce students to different materials and techniques. 
So here, uh, not only do you have some drawings with crayon on paper, but we also introduced the idea of tempera with it. Inside a plastic bag, kids would mix two different colors to create a complementary color. So um, something that's fun, that's hands-on, that's a little bit messy at times, uh, that's something, some of the things that we like to highlight. Here's another of my favorite projects uh, because all of the pieces are really cool. Um, here is a, a piece by Nelly Jimenez, eighth grade, Kate Vaughn Middle. So the project here is highlighting the idea of a gallery, of a museum. So students were asked to create um, their own kind of gallery. Um, they had to work on the space, create a sculpture, create either a landscape, portraits, have a message behind it and kind of explain how and why they created this piece. Um, again, you see a variety of materials, which is one of the things that we like to highlight and um, how the, pro the, the projects get a little bit different with ages. We try to, of course, match all this to uh, standards and Tennessee state standards um, and just, you know, fun at the same time. I'm here uh, still in Made in Dixon, and I wanted to show you a special spot that we have here. This is by our window, looking out our beautiful gardens here at the Dixon. And I wanted to show you a couple of projects of things that we do here, where we combine both art and horticulture specifically in the four different ages. Uh, so here you are looking at a project here by the window, these beautiful little houses that were created with dried flowers and some seeds. And it combines the idea of having uh, something that you look through, having uh, little homes, having uh, also a beautiful uh, created and designed frame for them where you are putting together seeds and petals for, to create a work of art. At the same time, if you look right next to it, you will see two terrariums. These two terrariums were created by some of our visitors that joined a workshop for adults and they learned how to make and maintain a terrarium and they were so kind to let us borrow their terrariums for a little while so they could be here at Mid and Dixon. And in the back, you can also see how we have added some um, macrame uh, pot holders, which also are part of another one of the horticulture workshops that we did here at the Dixon. So a little bit for everybody, all ages, art and horticulture, always together, always uh, creating. I hope you liked some of the things you saw and I really hope you can come and see this in person. The museum is open, the gallery is open. Um, this show will be up until the end of the year. So hopefully you can come and see some of the things that I showed you and discover new things. Um, and please, if you're interested in, in you know, maybe having your artwork here next year, uh, please visit the website and join some of our classes and programs. Uh, if you have any questions, I'm always here for you. So thank you for watching.